Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation with trigonometric functions. We have f of tangent x equals cosine x. And we're going to try to find an expression for f. In other words, we're, gonna, we're looking for f of x in terms of x. Now, how do you turn something into something else? So that's what functions do. Functions are basically like machines, you know, roughly put. You have an input, in this case, our input is tangent x, something happens inside, who knows what, and then the output becomes cosine of x. So the question is, if we input x, what is the output, right? That's what the question is. So how do you find this? Something like a magical touch that will turn tangent into cosine. Now, think about what the definitions for tangent and cosine are. If you think about... Uh, Right triangle, let's say this is our angle X, and these are side lengths A, B, C, C being the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. Tangent X would be opposite over adjacent, which is A over B, and cosine X would be B over C, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Great, so we're basically looking for something that will take tangent X, which is A over B, and we'll turn it into B over C. So you might say, okay, we'll just flip it and then replace A with C. But how do you do that? That is a million dollar question. And we're gonna to try to answer that. But let me tell you something that'll help you understand what is going on here, which is the Pythagorean theorem. If you look at this right triangle, yes, you heard it right. We have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, it just means that if you divide everything by something, maybe we could use tangent. But to be able to use tangent, I need A over B. I can't get A over B, but I can get A squared over B squared. In other words, if you divide both sides by B squared, you should be getting A squared over B squared from here. Split it up. And notice that this is going to give you B squared over B squared, which is 1. And this is C squared over B squared. Now we can also write this as A over B quantity squared plus 1 equals C over B quantity squared. And again, you might be asking, what does, what does this have to do with our equation? Well, take a good look. We have F of A over B equals B over C. And we have A over B. And we almost have B over C. Almost meaning it's the reciprocal, but we can easily flip it, right? That can be done with functions. In other words, f can take this and turn it into the reciprocal of this with some square rooting and flipping and so on and so forth. But that's the general idea. But let me tell you something else. This turns into a trigonometric identity. How? What is a over b? a over b is tangent. So this is tangent squared. This is 1. What about C over B? Well, C over B is not cosine, it's the reciprocal of cosine. In other words, if B over C is cosine, then C over B will be 1 over cosine. But what is, what is 1 over cosine? Well, there's a name for it, right? It's called secant. Yay! So C over B is secant, therefore if you replace it with that, you get secant squared x. Well, you maybe knew this identity, maybe you didn't, but now everybody knows it, hopefully. 1 plus tangent squared, it's usually how we write it. 1 plus tangent squared is secant squared. Is it true that 1 plus cotangent squared is cosecant squared, which is kind of like a really weird abbreviation, by the way? Some countries, I think, write cosecant like this, but standards are very important in the U.S., that's why we stick to the three-letter abbreviation of each trigonometric function. That's why we don't use TG for tangent either. So they all have to be three letters. That's why we don't write sine as S-I-N-E, but we just write S-I-N. It's not sin, it's sine. Okay? That's where that comes from. Great. We're not going to need this, but uh, it's still good to know. We're going to be using this, obviously. And how do we use that? That's a good question, right? So let's go back to the basics. What is the original problem? f of tangent x equals cosine x. Great. Now, I kind of have a relationship between tangent squared and secant squared, but I need to turn it into something 
uh, between tangent and cosine. That can be done, don't worry. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and write this secant squared as one over cosine. So my goal is to replace tangent with something so that I can replace cosine with also something, right? So here's what I can do. I can actually, let me think about this. I might be better off isolating cosine squared from here. So I'll, I'll do the following. I'll cross multiply, okay? Just to show you all the steps. And then you could also get this from cosine squared times secant squared equals one because they are reciprocals. And then I will isolate cosine squared. You know why? Because that'll be helpful. Okay, now I keep saying I want to write it as 1 plus. Let me do it. So I'm going to write it as 1 plus tangent squared, which is more common. Now, how do I use this information? Well, I still need to be able to do the following. This is cosine squared. If I can turn it into cosine, then I can go ahead and use it here. But yeah, you can do it. You just need to square root both sides. But here's the problem. There are two numbers whose square equals cosine squared. One of them is cosine x. The other one is negative cosine x. But should, should we just stick to one? Maybe one, and then you can do the other one as well. So this is going to be the square root of 1 over 1 plus tangent squared. By the way, this can also be written as follows. So if you think this is simpler, you can do that. Now, I have everything I need. Let's go ahead and substitute this into the original problem. What was the problem again? f of tangent x equals cosine x. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the tangent. That's why I isolated cosine, because I wanted to change the right-hand side, not the left-hand side. You could do that too, but that's going to be more work. Now, I'm going to replace cosine x with this, because it is cosine x. You see that? Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and replace cosine with 1 over square root of 1 plus tangent squared of x. And now you have a direct relationship. Do you see what I'm talking about? Tangent to tangent. Now you can go ahead and replace this tangent with something, maybe t. And this will also be t, right? But t squared, of course. So you're going to get the following. f of t equals 1 over the square root of 1 plus t squared. Of course, because of the square rooting operation, I probably need to put the, I need to put a plus minus sign, but that's against uh, rules because a function needs to be well defined. You can't have two different outputs for the same input. So I'm just going to stick to this. But since we were looking for f of x in terms of x, I'm just going to change the variable one more time. But notice this is not the same x we were talking about. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. Don't forget to check out CyberMath and A plus BI. And bye-bye.